First, the highly contagious variant of the coronavirus, BA5, now dominant in the Las Vegas Valley, and cases and hospitalizations are rising once again. Good evening, I'm Dave Corvassier. Trisha has the night off. That early warning system preparing us for each wave is being led by young scientists over at UNLV. Reporter Sean Delancey joining us now from the bathroom to show how it all works. More than two years ago, we told you about how your waste can help UNLV scientists track the coronavirus. Well, a lot has changed in two years. The wastewater tracking program has expanded, and now UNLV's brightest young minds are in control of saving lives with data. These are the masked faces of UNLV's front line in the fight against new COVID variants. They're tracking, tracing, and identifying new variants in the valley so other groups can mount a life-saving defense. Potentially, like, prevent more outbreaks or prevent more uh, deaths and stuff by, like, allocating resources and stuff like that. Navi and I both want to go to medical school, so it's kind of cool to think about how what we're doing could impact like the medical fields. Students like Haley Baker work as many as seven days a week, pulling samples from sewage systems around the valley in the desert heat. You'll take your gloves off and there'll be like pools of sweat coming out. And then they go through the laborious process of extracting the virus from, well, everything else in the mixture, all under the watchful eye of Dr. Edwin O. It's a tough conversation I have with folks in the lab. This is a, this is a seven days um, a week job. Um, sometimes it feels like eight days. A week. O says the work is critically important, however. He says his clinical testing has become less common. Wastewater testing is identifying variants further and further in advance of the first confirmed cases. Whatever we find in the wastewater eventually shows up in um, infections, in human infections. O says this doesn't just work with the coronavirus. They are currently narrowing down their samples of pox-like viruses to find out how much monkeypox is in the valley and where. In the KTNV bathroom, I'm Sean Delancey.